When I moved here to San Francisco at the end of last year, people told me contradictory things about this city. On one hand, they said, oh, it's so expensive. But on the other hand, they said, I was gonna have no problem finding a great paying job. They told me, oh, aren't the streets disgusting? But they also said it was the most beautiful place in the world. They said things like, well, you can always come back if it doesn't work out. But they also said I was gonna to wanna to stay here for the rest of my life. So was San Francisco gonna turn out to be this beautiful, amazing place where I find a magical new life? Or was it gonna be an overpriced, disgusting shithole? Which was true. I've lived here for about a year now, and I think I have a pretty good idea. San Francisco is a city of contradictions. Where depending on where you are in the city, it can be a sunny day. It is both beautiful and disgusting. It's Italian, Chinese. American, Latin American, Vietnamese, Filipino, Japanese. San Francisco is a sanctuary city, but we're not above making a buck by selling you a jail themed vacation. Oh, and let's talk about money for a second. In any other part of the country, having a million dollars means you're rich. Here, it'll get you one single bedroom. But we're building lots of new places to live. As long as you've got money and you don't mind living above a leasing center or a Panera Bread or parking garage. In San Francisco, we practically invented working remotely. But we'll sit in traffic for hours. If you're going to San Francisco, be sure to wait. We're always making upward progress. But we also get plenty of downs. In San Francisco, nudity is technically illegal, but the cops just look the other way. And we're down on Market Street. Every day, people are struggling to get by. Meanwhile, on the same street, one man owns two multi-billion dollar companies right next to each other. And the nice thing about that is, it's a really short ride in a helicopter. Where even though Starbucks has wiped out most other coffee shops in the country, in San Francisco, we love our Pete's where we're coming up with brand new ways to move through the world. But we still celebrate the old ways of getting around. We are experts at driving change in the world. But most of us just want to fit in. make the world a better place for everyone. 
as long as you've got a smartphone with a good data plan. Where we're always on the move, but we'll wait in a really long line for something to eat. where you can find any kind of food in the world. Except for a decent slice of New York style pizza. So, after a year of living in San Francisco, what's this city really like? Let me show you. To be honest, it's great. And it can really suck a big one sometimes. It can be really pricey, and it can be a really good value. It can draw you in with its charm and its beauty, and it can make you wanna leave with its pretentiousness and its filth. San Francisco is all of these things, and more. The main thing that determines the experience that you have is what you put into it. If you decide to stick to the same routine, do the same things that everyone else is doing, you're gonna have the same experience as somebody else. So, regardless of what people tell you about San Francisco, and this is really true for anywhere. The fact is, if you really wanna understand a place, you have to get out of your comfort zone and dive right into it. right now it's the middle of August and it's 57 degrees out in San Francisco the water temperature is 57 degrees I am absolutely freezing but you could warm me up by subscribing to my channel